Welcome back to the Roger Wakefield channel. In today's epic video, we're pushing the boundaries of personal protective equipment to their extreme limits. Your safety on the job site is our number one priority and we're about to prove how reliable your gear can be. We're starting off with safety glasses, subjecting them to a punishing trial with a pin nailer, brad nailer, and finish nailer. How will these protective pieces stand up against a barrage of sharp projectiles? Watch to find out. This video wouldn't have been possible without our sponsor, Ferguson. They're committed to providing professionals like us with top quality products and services that we can rely on every day. Ferguson is your one-stop shop for all your plumbing supply needs. They've got everything you need from pipe valves and fittings to plumbing tools and safety equipment. Check them out. As always, safety first. Remember, these tests are conducted in a controlled environment and with dummy heads, not real heads, which, whichever way, a dummy, one or the other. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Now all the safety glasses that we're using today are Z87.1 compliant. These are glasses that you would actually wear on a job site, no matter what kind of work you're doing. Now hopefully you're not trying to shoot nails in your eye, but we thought we'd try it just to see what happens here. So let's give these dummies a shot. How far will this shoot? Shoot it at the water heater first. So as you see, well, one stuck in the head and let's look. It actually went in about a quarter of an inch in the head, but nothing on the glasses. So where this would have penetrated your eyeball, it would have done nothing had you had on the safety glasses. So now we're gonna step over here to the next one. Now, these are the ones that you see me wear around the shop here. I like these. Now, I've got these on because I've got three pair of glasses that I wanted to test today, but these Armatex are really good and, I, and I'm getting really comfortable wearing them too. Tell me when you're ready. So as you can see, when I hit the glasses, nothing happened. It didn't pierce it, it didn't penetrate it. It literally just bounced right off. That's why I've got my safety glasses on. You can feel a couple of spots where it hit on both these. So you can tell it's coming out strong enough that this would really damage your eyes, but nothing on the dummies. I'm talking these three dummies. So let's try the fourth one. See? Ready. Okay, I'm glad I have my safety glasses on because one of them did come back and it got caught up in my thick mustache, which protected me. But again, we've got another one with a pierced nose. Now this one went a little deeper on the face. That one went about 3 eighths of an inch in. So now look, these things can be dangerous, y'all. Okay, so we did the pin nailer and man, it held up very well. Now we're going up to the brad nailer. Now brads are a little bit bigger. So look, I'm gonna move just a little bit closer because I mean, literally we can't even get anything to penetrate it right now. But I mean, remember this guys, it's not like you're gonna hold this up to your safety glasses and pull the trigger to shoot something in it. And no, I didn't have my hand on the trigger or the safety guard. Now this does have a safety guard, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but I'm gonna get a little bit closer and see what we can get to happen. Tell me when you're ready over there. Thank you. 
as you see, this is bigger than the pen. This brad, and look at this, that went in the skin about an inch deep. Now you can see it did do some damage to the glasses. It made a dimple in it, but this still protected the eyes. And that's what we're trying to do here. My thing is at this point, I'm either going to get new safety glasses or I'm just going home for the day. I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket. All right, now we're gonna move down here to the middle to the clear ones and see how they do. So far, I'll tell you what, our Armatex held up very well. Ready? All right, so as you see, they held up very well too. See, some of these things are really going deep now. And I know you're thinking, I don't want that in my face like that. I completely agree. But I think I'd rather have it in my face than my eyeball. That may heal. So let's slide down here to the last set and see how they do. It hit the glasses several times in the eye area with no penetration at all. So these safety glasses are doing what they're supposed to do. Let's step up to a bigger nail. Now for the big dog. So as you see, now we got the big dog out. And well, since these pin nails and brads are bouncing back the way they are for the real nails, I went to the mono goggle. All right, let's see what this big dog does. There might only be one, one hit on the glasses, but... Did you? Okay, good. All right, so we're going to the big dog, and as you see, I actually stuck one of my gloves up under here to keep him from turning because, well, we tried this a while ago and he kept turning away from me. So, let's see what he does now. Ready? Anybody ever said being a plumber was not fun, lied to you. Okay, man, that looks rough. The last two have held up very well. They've protected the person wearing the glasses, which is exactly what we're looking for. So let's get busy on this third pair and see how they do. All right, so safety glasses work pretty well. They daggum sure save somebody's vision. So now we're gonna reach in to the magic drawer and I've got three different pair of safety gloves. And look, it's great to have different gloves for different reasons. 
But what we're gonna do today, we're gonna test each pair with a knife, a razor blade, and a pair of scissors. Now, I don't really expect them to withstand all that, but I wanna see how well they do resist it. So, back in the magic drawer, we've got a knife, we've got a razor, and we've got a pair of scissors, just for stuff like this. And you know what? Pretty sharp? Yeah. Okay. So, the three different pair, these, these are rated a six, these are rated a four, and this has an X, so I'm assuming not rated for cut, which is fine. I just still wanna see what it'll do. So first of all, what I'm gonna try and do, and I'll use fingers one, two, and three, I just wanna cut down it. Now I'm gonna cut pretty hard, I'm not trying to stab it or anything, but I wanna cut it just to see what it does. So I'm gonna come to it first again, finger one, the knife, finger two, the razor blade, and then we'll see if we can cut finger three completely off. All right, so I've got the rubber grip side turned up, and I'm just gonna try to slice it open. Now, I didn't try going super deep, but it did make a little bitty hole here, but it didn't really cut all the way through quite like I thought it would. It definitely cut the vinyl, the rubber, but not too bad. I mean, if you're wearing them, you scrape your finger across a sharp piece of metal, that's probably gonna give you some protection. Finger one, same thing. About the same pressure, but I gotta tell you, it felt like the knife just slid right across that. Uh, it scarred it just a little bit, but it did not even cut, cut down all the way to the cloth material. So that was definitely much better. Now we're gonna go, and remember that was an A4, now we're going to an A6. Again, the same thing. It literally, it almost feels like just sliding it across the wood. It, it marked it, but it did not go all the way down to the material. So for cut resistance, actually the A4 and the A6 are really, really good, but I'll tell you what, even just for an all day, every day glove with a rubber grip, that one there that's really not rated for cuts would definitely protect your hand very well. So now we're gonna go to the razor blade. Now we're going to finger number two. I'll pull that in a little bit so I can get a little pressure on it. Okay, now that cut through. Now, it even cut through the under material, but remember, these gloves are not rated for cut resistance. Let's go to the A4, see what they do. Again, it slid pretty well. It cut through the protective material, but it didn't go so far as to go through the cloth material below. Now the A6s. Now I had to cut twice to get it to do anything. The first time, it cut it just a little bit, but the second time I pressed really hard. I got it to go through even the material, I think. But again, I was pressing harder than normal. We don't have this set up to where I can measure how many pounds of pressure or anything. Yeah, that, that would have got to my finger, but like I said, I was pressing hard. How many of y'all are gonna be pressing really hard just to see if you can cut your finger? All right, scissors. This part's gonna be interesting because I really don't think they're made for this. But number one, That went pretty quick. Glove number two, this is the A4. I got it to cut through it, but I was having to squeeze. Glove number three. Again, it went through it pretty good, about like the A4. You guys, here's the deal. I hope you're not ever standing there just seeing if you can cut your finger off. Against the knife and the razor blade, they all three did really well. Wear the proper protection that you need. If you're in a position where you're dealing with knives all day, I actually worked in a commercial kitchen one time, they had a glove set that you could not cut through because we were cutting fish all day. I gotta tell you, if you're using knives all day every day right by your fingers, that may be a good thing. But for out in the field, any of these gloves are gonna help save your fingers. 
just don't do anything stupid. Now, before I do this, I gotta tell you, I hate feeling like people are looking over my shoulders all the time. So we got one more little test to do. We got the knee pad test. And I gotta tell you, as I get older, I wish I'd have had one of these with me a lot when I was younger. My knees are shot. Okay, maybe not. But here's the deal. One thing about the gloves, looking in here, I realized as we're getting ready to melt solder on this, I love that they have the elastic around here. If you're a plumber, if you know an old plumber, ask the old plumbers about wearing the leather glove soldering and dripping solder down in your glove. You cannot move fast enough to get that heat off of you. But what we're gonna try to do is, we're gonna pretend that we're using this out on the job and we're gonna melt solder on it and see, does it burn it and ruin it or does it just stick to it and let us peel it off and let us move on? Because as a plumber, it's something we tend to do quite often. So, let's reach in the magic drawer and get out a torch and go to work. And you know what? I don't have any safety glasses here. He said he didn't mind. And you know what, you can even see them. You can see the little dots here where it hit, but I can still see enough. If this happened on a job, I could say, okay, I can still work and finish until I can get some new ones, unless I'm headed to the bar to have a drink because my glass is just protecting my eye. Let's fire this puppy up. Okay, so I've got a pretty big tip here for just melting solder. But the cool thing is, it doesn't look like it damaged the knee pad at all. So I'm gonna reach in here. You know, it kinda burned the surface a little bit, but there is no reason at all that I could not just peel these off. Now that one looked like it might have gone a little bit deeper. But guys, if you're a plumber and you're out on the field and you want something to protect your knees, I gotta tell you, if you look at that, it did a good job. It didn't turn up. I literally figured that it was gonna crater it, it, stuck to the surface, but as you can tell from pulling it off, it did not pull apart, it did not pull a lot of the material off with it. It doesn't even feel like it dimpled it. So, man, get some of these if you want to protect your knees. <laughs> it's cute. But guys, no matter what you're doing out there today, do it safe. Now this video was sponsored by Ferguson. And we teamed up with them because of stuff like this. They're not just trying to sell you product and materials, they're trying to keep you safe in the things you do each and every day. So check them out. If you enjoyed this video, check this one out. I think you'll like it too.